Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's recipe is going to be keto chicken parm and you can find the full recipe down below in the description box. I have a link to my blog post. So we're gonna start out with one egg and a little bit of water, like a tablespoon of water. We're gonna mix that really well. And now we're making our keto breadcrumbs, which is some powdered Parmesan, some almond flour, and some seasoning, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and some oregano. Now all I'm using are the thin sliced chicken breast because you know it cooks way faster so I'm dipping them in the egg first and then in the actual breading and I'm only putting two in my air fryer because I want them to have room to get crispy now we're going to drizzle with avocado oil we're gonna top it with some grated Parmesan cheese and I set my air fryer for 400 degrees for about 10 minutes at a time I'm going to be using this marinated mozzarella it's not the exact mozzarella I used the first time that I made this but it'll do you can use fresh mozzarella or marinated marinated and I love the marinated and I'm sad that Aldi doesn't have the first one I got before. I also use the sun-dried tomato pesto from Aldi. I love this stuff. It makes this meal so delicious, but you could use your own marinara sauce, pesto sauce, whatever sauce you prefer. After about 10 minutes, we're going to flip them so they can get crispy on the other side. Don't forget to top with Parmesan cheese again and go ahead and put them back in for another 10 minutes. This will definitely depend on how thick or thin your chicken breasts are. So you might not need as much time or you might need a little more time. Once they're crispy and the chicken is cooked all the way through, now we're gonna top it with your favorite sauce. I'm using that sun-dried tomato pesto. We're gonna top it with our mozzarella cheese. And then we just literally put it in for about three more more minutes. It doesn't take very long for the sauce to get bubbly and for the cheese to melt. Once it's all bubbly and it's all cooked through, then we're gonna go ahead and put it on a plate and you can add your favorite sides. I think for this meal, I had some roasted Brussels sprouts and roasted radishes, but we love this meal and we actually eat it quite often. It's super easy to make and it tastes just like the real thing. I'm not even kidding you. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in another video. Bye guys.